I guess there is many of our guests and users of the platform today that I'm sure that many are already busy with a full-time job. So another thing that I would ask the both of you guys, because I'm, I'm pretty sure you both maybe had some full-time jobs before converting into the music completely. And uh, I would ask, I mean, the both of you or the one of you that wants to reply, how was your strategy to slowly detach from your full-time, normal full-time job and just start staying on your legs out of the music mm. works? I'm going, All right. if you want. <laughs> um, it's a difficult question because there is no proper formula for it. And um, the, it's a vicious circle because to get, uh, to be like a professional artist, you need to dedicate yourself fully to the job. Because you need to have like the mindset really dedicated to your art, to be like really focused on creating, uh, to be like uh, free of, I call it the noise, you know? All the struggle, all the, what, everything happening in your life that can like um, de derived you from creating. So for me, in my case, it was more like um, fate, in a way. Because like I've told you already, I was working in finance, I was like a trader. Uh, so I wasn't making some good money. But the thing is, um, in my case, I was not never like I had this um, strategy of becoming a professional artist. When I was working in finance, I was, I told you I was already like a resident at Concrete. I had some gigs, some kind of gigs around in France. Uh, I was already playing at Berkeley and stuff like that. But at, in the, mo um, the thing is, by the time I, I decided to um, focus myself and let's, let's say start my career as a professional artist, I had already like a name in the scene. So it was not that difficult for me. I was already like, for example, like I had uh, EPs with um, Marcel Detman remixes on it and stuff like that. I was already playing at Berkine, so. But the thing is, it's a trick because it's really tricky. The thing is, if you want to do it, like really, because there is no shame also to say no. I want to stay in my position like this. I want to have a job. I want to do my music. It's my passion, but I'm like, a, like this kind of um, actor of my passion, you know? Yes. So you can do it. But if you want to say like, okay, my, my goal is to be like a full-time artist, you need to be ready to say, okay, for now, financially speaking, I can't be like a full-time artist. I need to have a job on the side. But at the same time, I need my free time outside of this job needs to be dedicated to my music. And that's, is, um, that is a decision that sometimes is difficult to make because when you go to work, you know, from nine to, I don't know, seven in the evening, you come back to your place and you're like already, you, you, you met, you're like your psychology, uh, your, your mental is already, already drained from the activities, from your daily activities. So you're like, should I go to the studio? Should I make music? Should I start a mix? Should I, I don't know, or should I practice? And you're like, oh, I'm a bit tired. I'm a bit like exhausted. So it's, it's a really difficult to, uh, d decision to make because that kind of feeling needs to be like erased. You need, to, you need to say, tell yourself that, all right, I have a job on the side, but my goal is to get there. And to get there, I need to sacrifice myself in a, in a way, you know, like, to be ready to have a job, I mean, it could be at night or during the day, but to have a job and then when my job is done, my like, daily job is done, my day job is done, I'm gonna rush to my uh, studio, to my turntables, to my CDJ, whatever, and practice, 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 and produce stuff and like produce content. And at some point you're gonna have like some um, events and that's gonna lead you to another one, to another one, to another one, and then, oh, I'm an artist, I'm a professional artist, I'm getting money for my art. And then you have a decision to make, like, should I <coughs> make the jump? Why not? And then, at some point you have, like, it's the decision, maybe, if I could say, the, 
the, the decision you have to take is when you feel that your day job is taking too much time from uh, <coughs> your art. <coughs> and there is always a point when, oh, sorry, where you have like um, the decision is pretty much clear from that moment when you say, okay, for example, we had an artist in, um, uh, Juliet had an artist called Shlomo, I mean, everybody knows him, and he was like me, he was like, he never had this idea of becoming an artist. It was a passion, he was working in like, um, um, it was a PR in a way, and he, was, he, he started his career um, like me, with a job on the side, but like not a day job, you know, like just to better when like a proper job, you know. And at some point, it was like touring a lot with like this DJ life and the PR life, and it was too much for him. I mean, it was not like about money; it was too much. So he decided to say, "Okay, I, yeah. there is the moment when I have to jump, you know, I have to de make the decision," and he jumped, and you can see where he is now. So <laughs> basically, yeah, there there will be like a moment in your life when you be yeah, when you will see enough um, clarity to say, I'm going to make the jump because I have confidence in my work. I, I know that I'm gonna, if I'm pushing myself forward, I'm going to not be successful. We don't talk about success, but I'm going to be relevant. I'm going to be like an artist that can make some, that can stand out in the scene. So there is no proper formula. It's just like, Dedication, 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 and yeah, being confident in your art. Yes. And yeah, thank you.